Hello everybody, Sanyo, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Invitae, right? So Invitae is one of those companies that we've actually covered in the past. And we sort of were able to talk about the company, what the company stands for, and what the, the idea of the company is all about. Now, in genomics, we talk often about CRISPR. Right, so that's one of the verticals in the sector of genomics slash biotech, right? There's also sequencing, there's diagnostics, there's all, all sorts of verticals within the biotech sector. Just like technology, right? You have software companies, but then you have the social media companies, right? You have energy side of the business like Tesla, right? And then you have consumer goods like Apple or e-commerce business like Amazon. The, the concept stays the same in genomics, right? Now why we're covering Envite and why we've covered Envite in the past is because we believe that for us to be able to edit genes, which is basically the mission of CRISPR, basically eradicating diseases, you know, eliminating world hunger and so on, you also need companies and tools to sort of sequence data, sequence genetic code, right? And that's exactly what NVT is doing. They're taking DNA or RNA and then translating that into information that professionals such as doctors, physicians, and so on can use to sort of treat patients. Now, I want to talk about this uh, before we even talk about the company itself, just as a stock price, just as high level, because I know a lot of you guys really love stock prices and obviously for obvious reasons. And the company has been hit very hard, okay? Since we've covered this company back in April, uh, this company has been hit so hard. I mean, look at this. If you check it, if you look at the stock price, look at this. It's just been going down, guys, okay? This is uh, this has been a very, uh, this has been one of those stories where it's been hard, it's been hit so hard that unfortunately we're looking at a 72, 70, up to 75% from its peak earlier this year. Now, the good news here is that it is worth under $3 billion market cap. And just as an investor, as yourself, again, we don't provide financial advice. It is you guys always want to be able to invest in companies that, you know, are so undervalued right now so that in the future you can reap those rewards, right? If you always buy at the peak, then the probability of making money is so low, right? So that's how the price is looking at. Uh, let's take a look maybe at their website. Right. And we've covered this company in the past, but it's always good to have a refresher here and look at this pregnancy, staying healthy, cancer, genetic illness. So clearly, you know, we're looking at over, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's like uh, 2 million patients and their providers, right? Uh, testing their affordable pricing more than a test, right? Genetic results are often just the beginning, right? Invita is interactive. So they offer more than just data, right? They, they give educational purposes, counseling, and also they give the whole kit, right? They're trying to be the Amazon. They're trying to be the Amazon of genetics, right? The Amazon of genomics, right? It's, it's, that's why we often say the Google or Amazon of genomics, right? It's not just the data, right? It's translating that data into something that patients can use and leverage that for their health, right? Because we are in an era where uh, health has become so important. I mean, we've shut down airports. We've begun in lockdowns, including in sec sectors like uh, in Quebec and, and other areas in North America where we literally locked down, right? Because of health. So obviously this is a different, you know, a different topic there, but the idea here stays the same, right? We are taking our health much more seriously. Governments are funding these programs. We saw what Health Canada did with CRISPR Therapeutics and Envite, for Envite to do this, look at these three easy steps. Request a test online, provide a saliva sample, get your results online, share them with your doctor. And then sharing with your doctor could be with Teladoc, could be with different mediums. And we know that Envite and Teladoc has a partnership uh, together. So take action based on your DNA. Every genetics code is different, right? And every genetics is different, right? You you all have, you know, we all we have similarities in genetics code for sure. But then the little differences make the whole difference, right? Especially when you say, you know, we're, for example, you know, as, as, random stat when people say we're 99 percent close to a mouse in terms of dna well that one percent is literally the whole difference between a mice and a human right and that concept stays the same the little difference between your uh, colleague and yourself you know in genetics code is the difference between what is your lifespan you know what is your health status what will you get this type of illness or disease that's the whole difference right so what they're doing here and they have real stories this is a company that's proven they've been 
making business, you know, case for themselves. Like we suffered the Q3 earnings, which they got hit hard. Clearly, you see the revenue is growing up. Obviously, the stock price is going down, but the fundamentals have not changed with this company. Things have been going up. They're expecting to go up as well, 60%. That's crazy, right? This is this is big numbers. And then the total addressable markets, clearly we're looking at billion and billion dollars, whether that's in newborn screening, whether that's with family and conception, disease risk and screening, and obviously with neurogenera- generation, neurodegeneration and aging and related orders. Now, this is just ballpark numbers, right? You shouldn't be taking those numbers as a as literal, literal numbers for you to base your case on because this market is so growing. This is just U.S., guys. What about Canada? What about Europe? What about China? What about Africa? What about Australia, U.K.? There's so many so many places, right, that can do so much. That's why I'm so excited for this space, right? Um, I want to take a look here at Tread from Biotech 2K1. He or she made a tread. Uh, we're, obviously, we're a big fan of their treads. Um, and let's take a look at a little bit here. The sequencing... Companies make the machines to actually sequence a DNA or NV. NVT is about taking that genetic data and translating it into something that can be used by medical professionals and treat patients. This is more about automation software and database to use genetic data acquired by sequencing. I call this genetic, genomic application company. This company is about using genetic data across all stages of life, stages of treatment to personalize th- therapies specifically to each patient. They work on driving costs down for genetic testing so everyone get tested, right? This is clearly what we talked about. Getting those costs down, improving efficiency, improving productivity, increasing delays. Ultimately, you get a product that many, many people around the world, including in U.S., obviously, that want to have their hands on it because who doesn't want to have their genetic information translated in a way they, they can leverage it? Right? They can tell themselves, okay, so in the next you know, six months, next year, I'm going to have to work on that, reduce this, reduce that so that I don't get this illness in like in three, four years. These are types of predictions that you can make for your health, right? And obviously, not every citizen is going to be interested in that data, right? But again, not every citizen was interested in Amazon early on. Not every citizen was interested in Google or in or in Microsoft's early computers, right? Or in Apple's, you know, AirPods and so on. But eventually, they became the mainstream, right? They became adopted across businesses. And that's what I think NVIDIA's biggest, biggest opportunity, you know, is looking at. They're, you know, they're looking at the opportunity to basically be in the mainstream when it comes to genomics, right? Uh, their second goal is to go base the database, uh, build the database of genetic information. And this can obviously help treatments, guide research, academic research, therapies. Obviously, we're looking at CRISPR therapeutics and TLA, beam therapeutics, all these CRISPR companies that can leverage NVT's data, leverage NVT's database of data, and then basically treat patients based on the, all the data gotten, right? And this is something that you want to think about, right? It's These are the links that, that really happens in genomics. That's the reason why a lot of people are just bullish on genomics, right? So quite a lot of things here. Bring, back, bring out all the necessary resources to bring all together. Tax, software, and da- database drive the cost down in the past few years. So you need talent, you need leadership, you need to execute, you need software knowledge, you need genomics, genetics, genome types, you need all that understanding. And, you know, the companies like Google, the companies like Amazon, that's not their niche, right? That's not their, their, their expertise. Yes, Google Ventures invested in these types of companies in the past. But Google Ventures is just a small segment of Google, right? Google is a behemoth, right? It is a mammoth, right? It is a beast, right? And for them to shift towards something like that, you need to change your mind, way of thinking to hire talent. And unfortunately, I don't think Google or Amazon or all these companies, including Apple, are getting there, right? I think they'll be, be making cool gadgets for health, but I don't necessarily think they'll be going into building database of genetic information, decoding that, putting resources into it, translating it for patients, making those partnerships with the companies like Teladoc. Uh, it could happen, but again, you know, the incumbent here is is all that I want to talk about here, right? So several things here. Uh, this is a space where the first movie can dominate an industry like Google and Microsoft, exactly what we talk about. They may they have done many acquisitions, and that's what we're looking at. So Clearly some good information here. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Just wanted to make a quick video here. I'm obviously not in my office here. I'm uh, on, on, on a vacation trip here. I'm trying to make this video about you guys, for you guys, about NVT. I think there's amazing opportunities out there. Guys, look out for it. Thank you so much for watching.
do like this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not, share this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see each other in the next video where I'll be talking about Ginkgo Bioworks. Thank you very much.